Hey y'all, my name's Gray Madden from Self Reliance Publishing, and today we're going to be continuing our series on how to raise worms. This video is going to be about different types of pests that you can find in your worm bin and how to go about living with them or getting rid of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so some pests that you're going to find in your worm bin are detrimental to your worms and you're going to need to get rid of them. Other pests are merely annoying and if they have a presence in your bin, it's not the end of the world. Uh, some pests in, your, in the first category are going to be raccoons, moles, birds, centipedes, and the like. And most of those you're going to control through the design of your worm bin. So if you've got an in-ground worm bin, uh, you're going to need to put hardware cloth on the bottom of it to keep the moles out. You're going to need a sturdy construction and a good lid to keep the raccoons out. Uh, and to keep the birds out. So most of those are controlled through the design of the worm bin itself. Uh, an exception would be centipedes. Centipedes are small uh, relative to the others and they're insects and they can find their way into just about any worm bin. And the only way I know to get rid of them is to pick them out when you, when you find them. Centipedes uh, shouldn't be confused with millipedes. Millipedes are the second category that are just sort of a nuisance, not really a problem per se, but centipedes will actually eat earthworms, so you're going to want to pick those out when you come across them in your bin. Another pest that's detrimental to your worm bin would be red mites. Red mites will actually feed on your earthworms as opposed to white mites and brown mites that are just nuisances. Red mites will actually eat your worms, so you're going to have to deal with those. Uh, if you have proper bedding and you're caring for your bedding properly and it's had the right moisture content and the right pH, you might have some mites, but they're not going to be very prolific. Um, so if you've got a real bad mite problem, you're going to want to check your bedding. Uh, and make sure you get those to the correct parameters as far as a neutral pH and uh, correct moisture content. If you do have some mites that you want to get rid of, I have heard of people baiting them to a certain area with bread and then taking a propane torch and toasting them. I've never used that method myself personally and I'd recommend that you be extremely cautious if you do try and use that method. Um, I would probably be more inclined to just change the bedding out. Some pests that fall in the nuisance category would be ants, white mites and brown mites, millipedes, black soldier fly larvae, and most of your other insects. Now you're going to find these things in your worm bin. Uh, you're going to have more bugs than just your worms in your worm bins. It's going to happen. Just accept that and don't necessarily freak out if you find something else in there. Most of the time it's not a big problem. Uh, if you have a lot of ants in there, you might want to take some steps to get rid of them. Likewise, uh, here in the south, black soldier fly larvae are probably going to find their way into your bin. And if you find them, they're, they're maggot looking things and kind of disgusting. Um, if you find them in your bin, it's not the end of the world and they won't really hurt your worms. So the only issue per se is they're heavy feeders and they're competition for your worms. So they're gonna be fighting for your for the food and take some of the food away from your worms. So that's the main issue there. Uh, if you keep your food covered and only feed in the central part of your bed, leave a couple inches going around your worm bin that you don't put food and make sure you cover it up. That's going to, you'll find that's going to reduce your number of, the number of pests that you have. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to check out my other videos about how to raise worms as well as other topics dealing with self-reliance. As always, I appreciate every like, every comment, and every subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.